Hello everyone, it's Louisa, and today's video is the June edition of my Decluttering 24 Items a Month in 2024 series. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate the support. And if you're new around here, Hi, my name is Louisa and I'm a just a gal who loves to incorporate her childhood loves and hobbies into her adult lifestyle. And one of those loves is cleaning, organizing, decluttering, finding what sparks joy in the words of Marie Kondo. So this is a series that I have on my channel this year. I made a decluttering goal to declutter 24 items or more more is better, more is great, um, a month. And then I also try to bring in less than 24 physical items into my world. There are a few things, like if I buy something using gift cards or if something's a gift, I don't count those. So we have a few rules regarding that. But I use this video to show you guys what I decluttered in case you guys need some decluttering inspiration. And then also I show you guys what I brought in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the items I decluttered for this month in this clip now. So here are the 24 items I am decluttering, but it's actually 37 items. I decluttered more this month. Surprise, surprise. Woo! Ta-da! Yes, I decluttered 37 items this month, and it just kind of naturally happened that way. It wasn't that I was like, okay, I really, really want to make sure I'm getting on my decluttering game and we're really gonna make it toward our end of the year goal or anything like that. Um, it just kind of happened. Like I cleaned out the inside of my car before a road trip. And so we had a lot of things from the car that I ended up decluttering. Umbrellas, sunglasses. I decluttered my shorts, which you guys can watch the process of me finding my new shorts that fit my body and fit my likes now in the cards up above. You can also see some of my decluttering because I decluttered some high school items as I was going through that. I did make a video on that that was decluttering limiting beliefs, school edition. So I'll also have that up in the cards as well. So I don't have any objects to show you because <laughs> I feel like I did show you most of the items that I gave away, but also there weren't, none of the items had really big significant value for me. So I don't actually have any of the items I decluttered to show you. So there you go. Also, I did sell items on Mercari. And so I, I do like to sell items on Mercari. Now, if I purchased the item to resell originally, I don't count it as decluttering. But if I declutter something that was a gift to me or an item I bought that I'm just like, I don't want it anymore, something like that, and I am able to sell it on Mercari, then I will count it. So I did sell six items. So really, we decluttered 43 items this month. So that's great. As I said, more is great. Not much else to say, except if you're looking for a place to declutter, if you are doing a decluttering challenge and you are not sure what to declutter next, try your car. Good luck. <laughs> All right, so now the more entertaining part of the video. I think most people like this part because it's basically a haul, um, but the stuff that I brought in. So again, I try to bring in less than 24 items a month. Some things that don't count in this, gifts, items I buy using a gift card because again, gifts, um, stickers, I don't count because I have a spot for them, my sticker books, uh, consumables, so anything I can eat, um, use like body products like shampoo conditioner etc so the first things that i purchased uh were thrift store finds and i do plan on reselling these they were such a cool find i didn't know that they existed and i want to kind of open them up and take a peek at them for a different kind of video hopefully coming to my channel very soon um but i will show you what i got i have three of these magic school bus kenner are they science kits 
Okay, so it says, please note on the back, this the playset inside is not a science kit. It's a hands-on activity toy with many of the details enhanced for the sake of extra fun. So hands-on activity toy, but I have three of these. So we have Body Safari Heart Central. We have Body Safari Brain Station. And then we have Body Safari Earworks. So each of these was $5.99 and I just decided to get all three that were there. Again, I'm really fascinated. I really hope to do a video kind of digging into these in the future. These were not a part of my childhood. I was too young, but someone may want to really live part of theirs. So I'm happy to help them with that. So these will be resold. And if I buy an item that is to be resold, because I have plenty of stock that I need to put on Mercari first, um, I add it as an item to items I brought in, even if it's not for me necessarily. So this is the first set of things, one, two, three. The next seven items were all the shorts I brought in in the video where I thrifted for shorts. So different pairs of shorts. I bought seven pairs, so yes, they are in my dresser. I don't feel the need to show them to you. If you haven't watched that video, check it out above. Next, my town used to have an annual sidewalk sale. Uh, it was always in July. It was always like the third Thursday in July. Um, and it would be from sun up to sundown. Um, and it was called like the sidewalk sale. It was a lot of fun. People would, l people loved waking up at like 6.30 in the morning and going to get the best deals. Um, but of course, COVID 2020 kind of got shut down. Um, so kind of since then, everyone's been like, we didn't like how hot it was during the sale. So they've changed it and it's now kind of more of a nighttime sale. Um, they have been having it in June and it is from four to 10. So more manageable, but less time <laughs> to shop. Um, but there's still some great deals from local shops. So um, I definitely wanted to go and check stuff out and I got some clothes that I think will come in handy and a cloth, a cloth. <laughs> and I got a cloth that I just really like. So there you go. So I'll show you this. I had to get it and then I'll explain. But basically I got this dress. The brand is Smack Parlor and just it's so cute it looks so retro it has eyes on it i'm a leo all eyes are always on me come on because i'm a narcissist oh my gosh i just i tried this on and i was like oh my gosh and i want to say it was normally I'm trying to remember how much it was i got it for 30 so i want to say it was at least it had to have at least been $60 originally. I think it was more. I think it might've been like 80, but I got it for 30. This dress is super cute. I love it. Go team. So we got that. Did I need it? No. Was it a good deal? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. <laughs> then I got two items that are clothing that are more, what's the right word? useful or will come in handy. So they had these for $10 each. And so I decided to get one in black and one in gray. And they are from the band, from the band. <laughs> they are from the brand High Five. So H-Y-F-V-E. And so they are basically like a full jumpsuit and like a full sweat jumpsuit. So in the winter, when it gets hella cold, this can be my outfit. And look, like we got pockets. Okay, we got pockets up here. We got pockets down here. Like I can, this is basically like a Snuggie outfit kind of. And plenty of pocket space, it's great. So I got one in gray and I got one in black, as I said as well. Again, these were 10 each and I just thought that's gonna be really helpful in the winter might as well i think they were originally 30 dollars, something like that um but i got all three of those from the same local store and 
they're amazing. So very happy I went to that sale um, and got those clothes. So I went ham at Joanne's Memorial Day sale back in May. So I had a coupon that was gonna expire. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go check out what they have, even though I just got stuff from Joanne and a lot of stuff that I didn't necessarily need. Um, but I got, and then it was funny because I couldn't actually, and I didn't end up using the coupon because I couldn't. Um, so I'll explain. First thing I got was this set. I don't know why there's two, but came together. It's fine. Um, but there are two stamps that say handmade by, one in cursive and then one in print. And I thought that this these would be super cute when like mailing the ears I make for year of the ear um, or if I sell my ears that I've made on Mercari. I just thought that this would be super cute um, to have those. And then this one says, you are the worst, but I still love you. I've seen this multiple times at Joanne and it just, it makes me smile. <laughs> and so um, decided to get it. And the reason why the coupon didn't count, cause I was like, okay, I'll use it on the stamps. Cause it was a, oh, it was a take 40% off a regular priced item. Um, I think it was take 60 something anyways I digress but um they ended up they were having like a sale on the um, paper crafts or the stamps so these normally this is $7.99 but I think I got it for like $3.99 which is a lot better of a price to get it at and then these were originally $4.99 I think I got them for $2.99 so around there somewhat. So we got more stamps to add to the collection. I really got to send out more magic mail to make it, make the stamp collection useful. And then I'm laughing because I thought that this was the sticker book I bought last time. I bought a sticker book because it was on clearance and I love using stickers. I love using them in my junk journal. And so I got a book and I thought it was this one. And then when I came home, I realized, oh wait, it wasn't this one. <laughs> Um, but I still like that other one, so it's fine. But this this particular book was still there and I was like, okay, you can get it now. I don't need it, but I wanna get it again because it's still here and it's the one I originally wanted. And the main reason why I originally wanted the Happy Planner Boho 487 pieces sticker sheet book was because, yep, astrology stickers, the Zodiac stickers, so. I, saw, I thought that they were in the other one that I picked up and yeah, but I got these. These were on clearance for $9.97. So items that are on sale or on clearance don't count towards coupons. So um, a smaller purchase at Joanne this month. So that's good. Um, and also like, yes, these are stickers. When I say I don't count stickers in this, I mean like individual stickers that I purchased from Etsy where it's like one sticker per listing. If it's a sticker book like this, like this takes up extra space. So yes, it does count at least in my book, call me crazy. <laughs> Don't mind me, I didn't get these this month, but my bangs, I feel like are just, they're driving me crazy. So I'm putting on ears that I did not purchase this month. Sorry, side note. All right, for editing purposes, and you all don't freak out and it's like, why is she wearing ears now? I had actually taken a picture of this pin when I was at Disneyland in May of 2023. And I just happened to see it on Mercari for a good price. And because I had been selling stuff, I had enough money to purchase it with my Mercari balance. So I was like, okay. And it's this silly old bear pin, open edition. It is silver, um, but I just think it's adorable. I do collect Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is one of my favorite Disney characters, if not my favorite Disney character. So big, big fan. All right, and then all of the last items I have were in one big purchase. So my friend Libby, her YouTube channel is Punzi's Palace, was having an Instagram sale um, to help her um, move with her husband. So I wanted to help out and I saw some items that I wanted. So all of these were purchased from her Instagram sale. So we'll start with these. So these are kind of open pins not on the original back of car, which is totally fine. Um, okay, so first of all, we have this chip gingerbread house, or I think it's like the gingerbread house of um, Belle's house and then chips there. Um, super cute. This was $8, I believe. So love that. I love Beauty and the Beast, hence why I wanted to get it. Then we have this cute snowman Mickey pin. 
I believe this one was a dollar. So I was like, all right, turn it to the back. This is one I saw a long time ago in the parks and wanted it's Mickey and it's saying, beware the Yeti. This one was $5, I believe. And then showing the last one, this is the Ariel um, cast member exclusive badge. But this was a dollar and I was like, a dollar for this? Okay. And then the last two items were pins that were brand new in their packaging and they are Funko Pop pins. We have Powerline and we have a baby Hercules. So I love both of these movies, Hercules, a goofy movie very, very much. Um, and originally these were 1590, according to the price tag sticker. Um, but Libby gave these to me for six each, I believe. So amazing, amazing stuff. So in total, I brought in 21 items this month. So it's below 24, so big fan of that. And we decluttered a lot of items. So we definitely hit decluttering at 24 items this month. So that is all I have for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite thing that I brought in. Um, have you ever decluttered your car? Have you found that to be a spot that needs a good decluttering because I certainly did. I feel so much better in my car. Ugh, it feels like I'm in a spa. Even though I didn't go quite that far with cleaning it out, like I did my best. Um, but oh, what a difference. I highly recommend it. If you want more of me, you can find me over on Instagram at louisa.ruby and on TikTok at wheezequeen3. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon with a brand new video.